Today we're going to be looking at systems of equation for problem solving. Our first example, we need to find two numbers. Their difference is 24 and their sum is 74. We'll let the numbers be x and y. x minus y is 24. That's the difference. x plus y equals 74. That's their sum. Adding these two equations, we find x and x is 2x. A negative y plus y is 0, so the y's go away. 24 plus 74 is 98. So we're left with 2x equaling 98. But we don't want 2x, so we divide both sides by 2, and we find that x equals 49. Then we need to solve for y, and I chose to use this equation, x plus y equals 74. You could use either one of those equations to find y. But I used x plus y equals 74, and we know that x is 49. So we subtract 49 to both sides, and we find that y equals 25. So our two numbers are 49 and 25, and their difference is 24 and their sum is 74. Our next problem is tickets to a concert, excuse me, concert were regular price or senior price. Four regular price tickets and two senior price tickets were $180, while two regular price tickets and six senior price tickets were $140. What is the price for each ticket? Well, let's let x equal the regular price and y equal the senior price. Then we can have two equations, 4x plus 2y equals 180. And that was from up in our verbiage up here in our problem, four regular price tickets, which is our 4x, and two senior price tickets, which is our 2y, equals 180. Continuing on with the information we're giving, two reg given while two regular price tickets, which is 2x, and six senior price tickets, 6y, were $140. So now we have our two equations. We multiply the second equations by a negative 2, and a negative 2 times 2x is a negative 4x, a negative 2 times 6y is a negative 12y, and a negative 2 times 140 is a negative 280. Bringing down the first equation, 4x plus 2y equals 180. Then we add those two equations, and when we do, a negative 4x plus 4x, the x's go away. A negative 12y plus 2y, we're left with a negative 10y. And we have a negative 280 plus 180 leaves us a negative 100. Dividing both of these by a negative 10, we find that y equals 10, or $10 in this case. Solving for x, we use the equation 2x plus 6y equals 140. Again, you could have used either one of those equations. But we took 6 times 10, which is 60, and then we took it over to the other side. 140 minus our 60 is 80. And we still have 2x on the left side of the equation. We don't want 2x, so we divide both sides by 2. And we find x equals 40, or in this case, $40. Our next example is a solution. We need a solution uh, at 20% solution of 20 liters is needed. But there is only 10% and 30% of the solution available. How much of each will be needed to make our 20% solution? Well, we'll let x equal the amount of 10% solution and y equal the amount of the 30% solution. Well, we go back up and we see our information is 10% or 0.10x plus 0.30y, which is our 30%. And we want it equal to where we're going, which is the 20%, which is 0 0.20, times our 20 liters. We multiply above the above equation by 100, and we find that we have 10x plus 30y equals 400. We also know x plus y has to be 20 liters, or if we take the y over to the other side, x equals 20 minus y. 
substituting that in for x in our first equation over here, we have 10 times the quantity 20 minus y plus 30y equals 400. Going ahead and doing the distribution, we take 10 times 20 for 200 and 10 times a negative y, which gives us a negative 10y. We still have our plus 30y equals 400. Combining like terms, we found that we had 20y, and going ahead and subtracting 200 to the other side, we're left with 20y equaling 200. We don't want 20y, so we divide both sides by 20 to find that y is equal to 10, and in this case, it is 10 liters. Because x plus y equals 20, then x must be 10 liters as well. Susan has 60 coins. The coins are dimes or nickels. The total value of the coins together is $5. How many of each coin does she have? Well, let x be the number of dimes and y be the number of nickels. We know that x plus y equals 60 because that's how many coins she has. Taking y over to the other side, we can say x equals 60 minus y. We also know that 0 0.10 or the dime times the number of dimes, which we said would be x, 0 0.10 for um, the dimes. We are left with 0 0.10x plus 0 0.05y, which is the nickel, equaling 5, because we're told it's $5. Multiplying that second equation by 100, this equation right here, we find that we have 10x plus 5y equals 500. Now we're going to substitute our 60 minus y, our x, in this equation. And when we do, we find that 10 times 60 is 600. And 10 times a negative y is a negative 10y. We still have our plus 5, and it still equals 500. Or a negative 5y equals a negative 100. How we got to there is combining like terms, a negative 10y plus 5y leaves us a negative 5y. Subtracting 600 to the other side, we have a negative 100. But we don't want a negative 5y, so we divide both sides by a negative 5, and we find that y equals 20, and in this case, it is 20 nickels. Since x plus 60 equals I'm sorry, x plus y equals 60, x must equal 40, and those are, in this case, 40 dimes.